It is a cold one this morning, everyone. And um, what better way to remedy that than do a proper review? What's going on guys? It is Shay here. Welcome back to another prop review. It has been a minute ever since I've done that. This is my first prop review I have done in what? Four or five months? It has been a minute ever since I've made a prop. The last prop I made prior to this video was, uh, what was it? It was the Ruger Service 6 Revolver. That was the last prop I had made um, up until this point. Um, and today's prop, especially for a comeback, because I mostly decided, mostly because I decided to take a little bitty break off of making props, because I've been making them so many times, and all that stuff, and all the other props I had made, you know, all the ideas of props that I had at the time, they didn't really come to life. So, I pretty much took a break from it for a short amount of time, and I'm right back here now, and I think I started off, did I, did I start off a little too, too big, did I start off a little too strong? I have, I have a feeling a problem I, I might have, so well, I, guess, I guess we'll see about that in this video, but yeah. So today, everybody, I have for you all the Crescent Moon, um, which is actually from a video game I am not familiar with, and that is a video game called Guilty Gear, um, and it is Happy Chaos's weapon of choice, um, which... You know, it's a pretty cool looking gun, and there's a good amount of history behind this, and because I have no, I literally have no freaking, I have no knowledge of these guns, um, except for they're actually pretty cool looking, but other than that, I have no knowledge of these guns, because I do not play Guilty Gear, this was a recommendation from someone who I will get on, get, in, get into, or talk about later on in this video, um, and... Yeah, I think we should go on and review this. So uh, yeah, with that being said, let's begin. The Crescent Moon. Um, apparently this is a. Um, I'm just gonna get straight into this. I'm going. I know I'm going to be missing a lot of facts about this, or like a lot of info about this gun. But I honestly don't care because I don't know anything about this. I have done research on the gun a little bit to get a little bit more of a gist of what the gun is about. Um. And the Crescent Moon is apparently um, a what it is a, a, a heavenly gun or something like that in the Guilty Gear universe, and apparently only five have been made um, of this version. And for Happy Chaos, who was the guy who uses this gun, he owns two. He own, he owns a pair of these guns, but he said one is a replica of this, and this is the one I'm, or I guess the one that he will use in his right hand is more than likely the actual, you know crescent moon revolver now this is a revolver this is not like you know it is a futuristic looking revolver and you may think a gun like this would hold more than six rounds but no it only holds six rounds like most like actually yeah, like most revolvers um this does have a magazine which is very interesting the magazine is actually right here which i was actually going to make but i'm figured that mm, i don't think i should really you know make that because i think that'll be doing a little too much and then that'll be a lot more time i have because i had to get this finished at a um at, you know by a certain time this week because i am going on vacation um in south carolina this sunday so that's why i'm saying that because i already knew that if i wouldn't have been fin i would have if i would not have had this finished by sunday and let alone saturday um then i would you know i would be disappointed in myself um but yeah so Apparently, this thing has a blowback feature, which is also very interesting. Um, the top portion here, of course, you know, I guess blows back, or either that, or you can, like, I guess has some sort of slide where you can rack the slide and you can start firing. Which is, if that's, if that is the case, and that's pretty interesting, mind you, I literally have no idea how this gun works in the game. I have no idea what it even sounds like. Um, which also questioned me for how I'm gonna do the shooting test for this video, but. Um, I guess I'll figure it out very soon. Um, but yeah, the, as I said, I don't know much, I don't know anything about this gun um, except that it's you know a, a heavenly gun, quote unquote, and only five exist in the world. Um, and I have a feeling that like you know if this had a price to it, it probably it would be one. It would have one hefty of a price tag. And what I mean by that, probably you know twelve hundred, maybe even up to two thousand, of you know two grand at most. Like if like a real world, or like a real world price. Um, but yeah, and apparently this is one of the most I guess OP weapons in Guilty Gear, 
or whatever game Happy Chaos is from. Um, because um, apparently in Guilty Gear, most characters use like swords and they're mostly close quarters. Like uh, you know, or have like a like a more more of like a close quarters combat kind of fighting style. But due to the fact that Happy Chaos is one of the only or one of the few characters in the game that actually uses a gun, it's different for him, and he can you he has ranged attacks apparently. So, um, which is which is pretty interesting so let's go ahead and get on with the details of this thing so i took a reference photo of the crescent moon and you know showed and like you know so that way i could see what this thing actually looks like all the details and all the stuff and man was there a lot of details to this thing um and so much uh, so much so that i could not add them all onto this prop because that would have taken a lot of time um and mind you when i do make props i usually do have a lot of time on my hands but not for this one. This one was, in a way, sort of rushed. Um, getting close to the end of it. So, let's take a look at the details of this thing right here, if the camera wants to focus. So, very dull details right here, painted in. Because this was actually... I, my whole plan was that, due to the fact that I was actually running low on materials, like markers and, you know, acrylic paint. It, mostly because it's been so long ever since I have made a prop. Um, or even, let alone even customizing anything, like any other props, fixing props up, you know, because of that, um, you know, I was running low on materials, and with that, I was running low on permanent markers as well, which is one of the more, like, one of the things I mostly use to fill in details on guns, or any of my props, so, what I did was that I was going to use a dry erase marker to fill in this, but I decided to instead not do that, and used, a uh, black acrylic paint, which I still had a good amount of. Um, but we have, let's start up with the front. Let's start up the front, yeah. So, the cylinder. This is a cylinder right here. This is a, like, it's so weird because I, since I have no knowledge of this thing, or, you know, any really much knowledge of it, I could just go on my phone right now and, you know, see the info, like, see the info of the gun, but where's the fun in that? Um, so... Yeah, you have the cylinders here on both sides, um, with the little bitty flutes as well. And on on top, you have a little front sight. Now, did, now the, the reason why there's not a front sight on this gun here is because apparently on the gun itself, like you know, there is like I take it that there is not an actual front sight, if that makes any sense. And or I guess the front sight will pop up. I guess when you're about to fire, if that's how if that's how this thing works. <clears throat> um. But yeah, um, I gave the gun a, a I, I hit it with a little bit of a pavement uh, finish of the, you know, with that acrylic paint. <clears throat> and I really hope that color did this gun justice. You have a little, you have a few details on the side back here, uh, whatever this is. Um, you have a little few uh, marks to, I guess, indicate screw holes, or in, if not just screws and all that stuff, you know. Uh, that yeah this little detail here so i can get them in the light yeah right there i was originally going to paint this in silver which i might actually end up doing but i don't know how great or how bad that will make this gun look um you have uh rear sights back here which you do have little mark <laughs> sorry about that my camera cut out for some reason now, i kind of forgot where it was um but i think i was talking about these details right here but they're pretty dull especially if you look at it you know if, if this light reflects off the gun well, not all that well um same thing over here with the you know the screw screws i guess all that stuff you have grips with you know little emblems on the side actually i don't think these are emblems i think these are also screws as well you have your really massive hammer back here um which i didn't really do this justice at all actually no i really that's what i was talking about i was talking about the rear sights back here but i mean i'm pretty sure everyone already saw those um you have a nice little pretty big uh trigger guard so in case you have big hands like me um, you also have a pretty massive pistol grip, pretty massive and pretty beefy as well, um, which is pretty nice, um, I guess, for, you know, people with big hands, not so much for people with small hands. Um, but yeah, and actually, um, there were so many details of, that I missed on this gun is, is actually because there was a little, like, for right here, like, with, you know, like, what looks to be a slide, there also is, like, kind of like the same thing on the bottom down here, which I never got around to doing because I knew if I did that, I probably would have messed up the prop <laughs> and that would have been a like what almost an entire week's worth of work done because this and this took a minute for me to do mostly because i was lazy i will admit but some things it took a lot of a lot of precision and all that stuff for me to get you know the, the way this gun is looking right now so let's compare this to a real world revolver 
So here is a Colt Python revolver right here. And this, of course, is the Crescent Moon. So there is a pretty big difference with, the, with these guns. First off, the cylinder is in the front. And the barrels, if I'm correct, let's, let's say, let's say right, let's say if the cylinder was right here, the barrel, the barrel on the thing, because this, I think I actually, sh yeah, I shortened the barrels on these thing on this gun, uh, because I actually thought that it was too long. And from what I know, the barrel is roughly, if I have to say, oh my goodness, we have a fucking bus passing by. If I actually had to say, uh, the length of this barrel is at most eight and three eight, like eight and three eighths inch, or if I'm even saying it correctly, mostly eight inches roughly. Pretty big difference probably with this is that this thing is more likely a lot more powerful than probably even a 44 Magnum. Like these, these things, like this thing seems very, very powerful. Like it, it just seems powerful. Maybe it's because that it's, it's like it's you're going up against a lot of people that you know that have swords instead of firearms. But um, and it's really funny because apparently Happy Chaos doesn't really have or doesn't really use these, even though he has these things on him. So yeah, also a few more details. And that was the barrel. You have your barrel and you have a little laser sight right here. So now I'm gonna put this away. And now I think I should go ahead and explain the main, the, actually the whole reason I made this prop in the first place. So an online friend of mine who is Panic923, I do know, I do know his real name. I'm not going to say it here, but um, I had um, here's a little thing. Me and him are going to be meeting each other in person very, very soon. When I mean, what do I mean very soon? I mean this Sunday at most next week. Because I said, I am going on vacation in South Carolina um, this, um, you know, this Sunday. And I asked him, would you like a prop of Happy Chaos's guns if I actually made it? He said, hell yeah. And I made it. So this will be, because also what's really funny is that his birthday recently just passed. Um, his birthday, if I'm correct, was uh, Friday of last week. And, um... He's gotten a lot of birthday presents. This is another one from me right here. And this is the finished product of the Crescent Moon. You know, Happy Chaos's guns, or one of his guns. Now, here's the difficult part. How am I going to do the shooting test if I have no idea what this gun sounds like? Simple. We're going to be using some stock sound effects. So before we actually start off with uh, the Crescent Moon, we're gonna start off with just your standard 357 Magnum revolver. Six rounds, 357 Magnum, firing. So yeah, we got that right there. Now let me go reload these off camera. All right, let's do this one more time. We're gonna fire once. So that so way we can get an idea of, uh, of recoil. Alright, so we got that one fired. Now I'm going to get the Crescent Moon. So because I have no idea what this thing would actually sound like, and mostly because that this is used, I don't even think this is ever really used one-handed, like, you know, not two, like, you know, two-handed shoot. I don't think this is really used like this, mostly because that he has two guns. But we're going to try it out anyway. Um... So, I assume that this will have a higher recoil than your average revolver, like 357, roughly. So, um, we're gonna, we're gonna try that. This is gonna be a very inaccurate shooting noise, but I'm really sorry for any fans who, you know, like this, because I don't have any other sound for this gun, because I don't know what it sounds like. Woo! I presume that's how the recoil would be. Now, let me go get the 357 Magnum. So Happy Chaos would usually have another gun at his side, or another Crescent Moon gun at his side. So let's pretend that the Colt Python here is the uh, replica version, I would presume, of a Crescent Moon. Um, but, you know, let's fire it once. Let's fire both of the guns once. Let's, let's attempt. Mm. Pretty nice little stuff. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. Um, I was originally, it was funny because I was actually supposed to have a skit at the beginning of this video, but I figured that would be taking up too much time. Uh, but I also figured it would be a perfect time to do a skit because no one's around, no one's up. It's, what, 9 in the morning, right? 8 or 9 in the morning. Let me check. Yeah, it's 8.59, 9 in the morning. 
so yeah no one's out no one can really see me no one can you know be like oh my god this, this guy has like weapons so yeah um that is pretty that pretty much does it for this video pretty much um it feels very good to get back to making props however though i was probably not really be making props at, at, a, at a much at a faster rate as i used to be because like you know I'm usually pretty lazy for this stuff, and as well as Andrew, this is the first prop in like five months, so, you know, it does kind of make a little bit of sense why I'm like, it's either four or five months, I think, um, but, I mean, it is the first prop, and, um, that, you know, in the first few months of me getting back to them, so it does make a little bit of sense why I was so lazy, it actually doesn't really make any sense, but it, 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 it I was a little lazy and all that stuff, so, yeah, this did take a little bit longer than I thought it would, um, but yeah, so that pretty much does it for this video, that was the Crescent Moon, uh, probably one of the biggest handguns, or probably one of the, yeah, probably one of the biggest pistol weapons I've made in quite a while, uh, if I ever had to rank anything other than that, it might have been the D-Magnums, which I still have, surprisingly, um, but other than that, that pretty much does it for this video, and I really hope everybody enjoyed this, and if you guys did, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. And you know what? We're back to prop reviews again. I'm gonna do a different, I'm gonna do it a different way. I'm gonna do the outro a different way. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.